Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Moritz. Today I'm going to be walking around a used coach. It is a 2012 Newmar Essex 4544. Um, this is going to be a great example of a used coach, used, definitely not abused. It is in good enough shape that I think if we put it on the lot and you didn't know any better, you would think it was a new coach. Um, I haven't seen any real exterior damage, no interior damage. Um, it doesn't look like it's ever been used very much. So first thing I want to talk about on this 2012 Newmar Essex. Now, as a reminder, in 2012, this was one of the highest end coaches on the market. So with that, we get the two Gerard Nova awnings. Now we've got three different ways to control them. We've got a controller down below, a controller inside, and then the remote in my hand. So at the push of a button, I can go ahead and retract these awnings. Now notice they are two separate awnings. So we can have one in, one out, both out, both in, you know, kind of gives you some flexibility and configuration. Now these awnings both also have wind retract. So if the wind picks up, they'll just go ahead and suck themselves back in to help prevent damage. Not a system that you necessarily want to rely on, but it's there in case you ever get in a pinch. So we'll go ahead and retract both of those. Now, in addition to those awnings, we've got the window awning here. Now this is covering a dual pane tinted window. All it's gonna do is keep the sun from beating down into the coach and creating a bunch of heat. And then we've got the awning over the entrance door. This one just gives you a nice place that if it's raining or something, it'll keep you dry so you can wipe off your feet before you go inside the coach. So we'll walk around the exterior first. Up in the front here, we've got one of our two fuel fills. We do have dual side fuel fills. That's gonna go directly into our 150 gallon diesel fuel tank. The first compartment is going to be a refrigerator freezer on a tray. Reminder, this is a 2012, but we have a dial over here on the right side that lets us pick our temperature. So we have three refrigerator settings for how cold and then one just freezer setting. And that will run directly off of the coach power, whether it be on 12 volt or 110 volt, depending on what you have available. Second compartment, we've got a 26 by 91 power tray. So push a button and out it comes. It'll come out 60% either direction and has a 1,000 a pound capacity. Here on this tray, we have a couple extra tiles from the factory that was thrown in when the coach is new. Just in case you ever have an accident and chip one or break something on the inside, you've got some extra tiles. Oop. Up above, 43 inch Sony exterior TV as well as a Sony uh, head unit. That's gonna be AM, FM, Bluetooth. So you can play some music while you're on the, ex on the outside. Another big power tray. Push the button and out it comes. And then push the button and away it goes. Last big storage compartment. So this is a big half storage compartment. Now we've got a manual tray here. Also with a 1,000 pound capacity. These are very easy to push in and out. It's not like you have to put a lot of force on them. Now also in this compartment, we've got a couple extra power outlets in case you needed power outside on your patio. The controllers for our awnings and then the controllers for your slide outs all up inside that compartment. One more storage on the passenger side, the door side of your motorhome. This one's a pegboard, gives you some good flexibility. You know, you can hang tools in here, a couple extra quarts of oil. Just a nice flexible storage unit or storage bay. Back behind that, 15 gallon diesel exhaust fluid tank. My advice for diesel exhaust fluid is fill it every time it hits half full and you'll never have to worry about it. This is our, house, our chassis battery compartment. So we've got two 12 volt chassis batteries. Those are gonna be used for starting the engine. And then down here, we've got two breakers. These are gonna to be to kill the chassis batteries if you're putting it in extended storage so you don't get uh, excessive draw on them. 
in the back, full fiberglass rear cap. Down below, we've got a two inch receiver with a 15,000 pound towing capacity, a seven pin connector for those trailer brakes, trailer lights. And then in the rear hatch, a 500 horsepower Cummins. Back in 2012, the Newmar Essex was equipped with a 500 horsepower Cummins. We got our engine oil dipstick, engine oil fill, nice and easy to access, so you don't ever have to search for things. Other thing that's kind of cool, right here we've got a block heater plug, so if you're out camping, let's say North Dakota, and it's November, the night before you leave, come on out, plug this in, it'll turn on the block heater so that when you wake up in the morning, you don't have to worry about your fuel or oil being gelled up. Coming around to the driver's side, we've got the side mounted radiator on the new Mar SX. Gives you a little bit better airflow to all your major components. A little bit of storage here for uh, your sewer hose. So, um, something about the new Mar SX is we do have a triple axle, so steer, drive, tag axle. On all of these axles, the tires on them are 2018, so they're about three year old tires, which is nice to see. You know, it's something you don't have to worry about for another couple years. In front here, our water bay. So, fresh water inlet hose on a reel. Just pull it out, push a button, and it sucks itself back in. Water manifold. This is cool because if you have an issue, let's just say the sink in the half bath is leaking, we can just shut off the water to that sink. That way we don't have to worry about that leak. It's not gonna ruin our trip. Gray and black tank flush, the macerator on and off switch, a pump switch so you can turn your water pump on from out here to use this exterior hot and cold shower. Now on this panel, we also have the values of our fresh gray and black tank. Valves down here to dump the gray and black tank. Water tap, our uh, water selection valve is right here. And then the low point drains for the hot and cold water over in front. And then last but not least, we've got the whole house water filter. Next compartment, we've got our 50 amp power cord on a reel. So pull it out when you're done camping, push a button and away she goes. Another thing I wanna point out is we do have a generator start and stop switch in this compartment. So maybe you're unplugging but still want the power uh, like you're plugged in, you can actually unplug it, then just start your generator from here without having to go back inside. This is our Oasis system. This is gonna be our hot water as well as our furnace for the entire coach. On-demand hot water, 63,000 BTU furnace. And then the other side to our power pass-through trays. Same thing here. And last compartment underneath, we've got six AGM, or eight six volt house batteries. That is gonna be providing you all the power for your motorhome on the interior. So that's just for your lights, your refrigerator, inverter, all that stuff. Those batteries are for that. Notice, even on the driver's side, we've got the nice window awnings to cover those dual pane tinted windows, just so you have extra protection from the sun if you're out camping. Now in each one of the mirrors up here, we do have side view cameras. So if I turn on my left blinker, this camera inside of this mirror is going to turn on and eliminate all my blind spots to keep me safe while I'm driving down the road. So while we're up here, the stock number for this unit is 5U211412. Again, it's a 2012 Newmar Essex 4544. And that's pretty much gonna wrap up the outside portion of our walkthrough. We'll head inside. Now, I left all of our slide outs closed so you can see what it would look like while you're traveling. So something that's kind of funny, uh, this is the box for that awning remote control. I literally just pulled the awning controller out of its original packaging and put the battery in it. Um, it was still sealed from the factory, which I found really kind of funny. Um, so again, all of our slides are closed up here. I can still walk through. Here's my refrigerator, can open it up. Here's my mid bathroom. So just swing the door, 
and I can get in here, no problem. So a really nice big walking area. Part of that's attributed to this dinette setup, which I'll show you here in just a minute. But let's go ahead and get these slides opened up. So your two main slides in the living room are gonna be controlled right above the driver's head and your bedroom slide is going to be controlled back towards the bedroom just so that you can see that slide operate as you're opening it. So just a couple things to note while we're got some downtime here. Our water capacity is gonna be 105 gallons of fresh water, 60, 65 gallons of gray water and 45 gallons of black water. I already mentioned it, but we've also got 150 gallons of diesel fuel. In just a second here. There we go. So things to look for when you're buying a used coach is always going to be, you know, do the slides operate smoothly? You know, sometimes you'll see slides walk and jump and kind of buck as they go out. This coach's slides operate very smoothly. Another thing to note here, we've got three roof mounted air conditionings. They're 15,000 BTUs each, and they've also got heat pumps built into them. So you get a little additional heat without having to use the main furnace down below. Slide drops down into place and then goes level. There we go. And then last slide in the back is going to be just the bed. So here at TransWest on all used coaches, we do go through them extensively. We will make sure that they are camp ready. Everything, all major systems will be working when they leave here. So that's just a little insurance for you guys, knowing that we do check these coaches out. We don't just get them in and send them out. We do have a chassis department here as well. So we'll send it over there. They're gonna look at the engine, the transmission, make sure we don't have any leaks, um, knock out any services that are required so that when you leave here, you leave knowing that your coach is ready to go on a trip that day. And there we go, that slide is fully extended. So obviously with the slides opened up, we get a lot more room in here. Very minimal carpet on a 2012 Essex, just in your uh, off door slide out. And you know, back here it gets a little more where there's no couch and stuff, but minimal carpet. This carpet's actually in really good shape for 2012 compared to what we're used to seeing. So we'll start in the back and then head, work our way forward. As we come into the main bathroom of this coach, very important feature in my mind, huge closet. This is a cedar line closet. Now on the right side of it, we do have some shelving. We can adjust those up and down as needed. Also, we've got the safe built in. Before you leave here in this coach, we can teach you how to set your safe code. Open it up. All of the, this is all the original set that comes in the safe from Numar. Now over to the left, we get our shoe shelving. Shoe shelving. So it's little cubbies that you can put shoes into. And then there's a hanging rod all the way across the top of that closet. Now, coming over to the sink area, we've got dual side medicine cabinets, carpet lines, so your pills and stuff aren't gonna be rattling and falling down while you're driving down the road. Solid surface, his and her sinks. One more medicine cabinet on the far side, over towards the entrance of the bathroom. Down below, We've got two really big cabinets, as well as three drawers for extra toiletry storage, toothbrushes, toothpaste, whatever you need. Outlets on both sides, so you have a his and her outlet as well. Both of those are gonna be 110 volt outlets. And then nice big shower enclosure, glass door shower enclosure, enclosure. So we've got a nice little shelf here. I like that they put the crossbar here so when you're driving down the road, you don't have to worry about your soap and stuff falling down. The folding shower seat makes it nice and comfortable for those of you who can't stand in the shower. But this is really a big shower. 
plenty of room in here. Do what you need. Little hanging towel rack just outside the shower door, easy to access. Which is going to bring us, bring us to the bedroom. So first things first, 72 by 80 king bed. This is a sleep number mattress. We do have storage down below. So folding chairs, all of our original uh, upholstery and stuff that came with this coach is in here. The customer held on to all of it. And I'm talking about like the bed shams, the original couch pillows, all of that stuff. It's all here. Great cabinetry up above the bed. Just for additional storage. And then on either side of the bed, we've also got little nightstands where you can put you know, your phone, your wallet, whatever. On the other side of the bed, we also have a solid surface countertop, phone, keys, wallet, if you're not the kind of person who wants it by your bed. Down below, we've got six drawers. Top three. And then bottom three. Just for additional wardrobe storage, the things that don't need to be hung up can go in these drawers. Good to have more storage than you need in a motorhome. Up top, we've got our AV compartment. So right now, it's got a direct TV receiver in it. All your remotes for the bedroom. Another big storage compartment here, or cabinet. Now back in here, we've got an awning extend switch. That's gonna be for another window awning here in this back bedroom. Just those ones that keep the sun from beating in your coach. Right here in the bedroom, we've got another, or we've got a main control panel. So there we can do anything from start the generator, check our water levels, change the climate control, turn on and off our heated floor. All of that from the bedroom without having to go all the way to the front of the coach. Very important at night when you don't, or if you have guests or something that's in the middle of the coach, you don't want to go out there, you don't have to. You can control everything from the bedroom. Coming into the middle of the coach, We've got a nice big pantry, adjustable shelving up and down. These are pull-out drawers, and when you push them in, they do lock in there pretty nicely so you don't have to worry about them rattling while you're driving down the road. Another really big pantry area, again, pull-out drawers. Again, we can move these up and down as needed. Now up above that is going to be our main AV compartment. So we've got the direct TV receiver again, the controls for our WineGuard Traveler, which is gonna be a stationary HD satellite, a Sony Blu-ray player, and a Sony, uh, Sony uh, radio there as well. Now this is gonna be our half bathroom here in the middle. So inside this half bathroom, above the toilet, we've got our main circuit breaker panel, very residential style as well as our main 12 volt fuse panel over to the left. Another solid surface countertop, two outlets inside of the half bathroom, another medicine cabinet, and then more, or more storage down below. But a nice sized half bathroom. Now that's important to have a nice sized half bathroom because that's one you're gonna use while you're driving down the road. Forward of that, we've got the Splendid stacked or it's not stacked combo washer and dryer now we could put a stack set in here if you wanted to um, it looks like the previous owner took out a stack and put the combo in so that they got more storage here in the middle of the coach down below that we've got the connection for our dirt devil which is going to be a central vacuum system so there's a hose that will reach the entire length of this motorhome from there 19 cubic foot Whirlpool residential refrigerator, so this is gonna run off of electricity only, using either the inverter, the generator, or shore power, depending what you have available. We do have an ice maker and water in the door, very important. Nice fr uh, freezer down below, three different compartments to store stuff. And that's going to bring us to the booth dinette. So kind of the old school dinette, really cool because when your slides are in, this thing is kind of tucked completely out of the way and doesn't provide a pinch point. But over on this wall, 
we've got some switches so at the push of the button a button it's going to go out and up So once it reaches its fully extended position, we also have just a little manual extension to give us enough room to move in here. Now, this table is really good for about two people, maybe three, um, but if you're traveling with many more than that, you'll wanna get some uh, TV trays or something for the other couch. Push it back, whoop, push it back in, and then I can push the buttons again, and down it goes. Very important on the left side there, we do have two outlets, so if you needed to use that table for work or something, you could absolutely do it. Kitchen area, really beautiful, solid surface countertop, dual sink bowls, so both of them are gonna be under mount sink. Residential style faucet, you do have a sprayer nozzle. Kitchen storage. This is a huge cabinet. This is definitely where I'd be putting all my pots and pans. Adjustable shelf up and down. Again, everything's carpet lined so you don't have to worry about sliding or stuff sliding around inside of it. Spice, drop, spice compartment up top. Convection microwave. And then down below, a silverware drawer is just a, as well as just a miscellaneous drawer. We've got the dishwasher in a drawer. More storage. This is a pull-out drawer. Um, so you would actually be putting your trash can right there by design by Newmar. Little wet storage, so things like your uh, dishes, scrubbers, sponges, that kind of stuff. And then a nice big long drawer for your serving utensils or knives. So, coming forward. We're now in the living room area of this coach. So this is, couch is just incredibly comfortable. Nice and big, easily enough space for three people here. But on the door side, we've got kind of a cool little work area here. So right now, um, and given the last year's kind of, I don't know, given the last year, a lot of people have been working in their motor homes. So this particular one has a really cool workspace. So you've got this huge countertop up here. If you wanted to, you know, you could do a three screen computer set up there. You could put a TV here, whatever you need. Little pull out computer desk down below. Below your computer desk is this huge cabinet. Now in here right now is gonna be the stuff for our convection microwave. All the original manuals for the coach are also in here. But there's power, there's four outlets underneath this cabinet. So if you want to do something like put a printer in there or a copier, there's plenty of room in that cabinet to do so. And then all of your other work supplies, I mean, huge drawers. You can very easily make this like a filing cabinet drawer. Just all the drawers you could ever possibly need. Now this wasn't um, this wasn't the original configuration of the coach, but you can definitely tell it was done by the factory, whether it was a special order or something that the previous owner took it back to have done. I mean, all the cabinetry matches perfectly. The countertop matches perfectly. There's no seams or anything in there. This is definitely factory work. Um, just don't know exactly what the time frame is that it was done. So another cool feature of 2012 Essex, something you didn't see all the time back then, we do have power shades all the way around. So we've got both day and night shades. They are auto motion is the brand. So push a button and away all your shades go. And you can do the same thing with the day shades, which would be more of just your sun blocking shades. Go ahead and drop those down really quick. But so far in the hour or two that I've been playing around with this coach, I have not found anything that's not working. Um, I've not found anything that's alarming. You walk in here, there's no odor to it at all, which is something that's very common with used coaches, especially ones that have been lived in. Now, I could say pretty much without a doubt that this coach was never lived in. Um, when coaches are lived in, you'll see you know, excessive wear on the fabric, excessive wear on the floor, the wood will be beat up, 
Uh, this coach shows no signs of ever being lived in, which is a really good thing. Okay, so coming up to the cab area. We've got another one of these control panels. So this is, again is your main control panel. So we've got AC, DC, power, generator, water, climate, floor, um, and then your water valve settings. So anything we need to do, we can control right here at the screen without having to go to the back or the middle, outside. Anything we need, we can do right here. Top left corner, we've got the battery disconnect switch for putting the coach in extended storage. The solar charging when lit uh, light there. That solar charger is just going to be a small panel to charge your chassis batteries to keep them from dying. Our slide out controls, off door side, door side, our, extent, or our awnings for those window awnings I was telling you about. Security lights, interior or entrance step, drapes for the cab. So we've got drapes all the way around here. And at the push of the button, they'll come down. Now the reason these are up top is just for safety so that someone doesn't accidentally push it while you're driving down the road and blind yourself. In the actual cab, on the back left side, we've got the HWH computerized leveling. That is gonna be your four hydraulic jacks. All we gotta do, have the ignition on, hold auto level for about a second, it'll drop all four jacks. Forward to that, we've got the Hadley system. Now this is gonna be air leveling. So you have two different ways you can level this coach, just depending on what you need. But again, push the button, it'll level it out. This is really nice for one, just fueling up, or two, if you're just stopping for a couple hours, take a nap, so you're not sleeping at a weird angle. The touchpad for our Allison six-speed automatic transmission, drive, neutral, reverse. These arrows right here are gonna be how you shift the gear up and down if you wanna go into manual mode. Really cool feature, power window on the driver's side. Now I always thought this was really, really silly until I drove back from uh, Tulsa to back to Frederick, Colorado um, and encountered I think five different toll booths and not having to fight you know, a slider window was just amazing. Tag dump switch here in the middle and then this one very important we've got a high and low engine brake so low is down is low middle is off up is high just keeps the wear and tear on your brake system uh, down traction control override power mirror controls uh, this is the intensity of the dash comfort drive controls headlights on uh, parking brake set and or parking brake set. Now, a cool thing about the 2012 Essex is we do have memory seats over here on the left side. So we have three different settings, one, two, and three. So we could have, you know, husband setting, wife setting, kid setting. Uh, whoever's gonna use your coach, you can set their seat position by memory. Now we also have electric steering wheel controls. So over here on the left side, we've got the little stock. This one's gonna be for our tilt, and then on this side, the bottom one is for our pedal controls. And then the top one is for the telescoping of the steering wheel so we can move it in and out as needed. Also on the steering wheel, we've got our cruise control controls, just a button. So if you just push this button, you've got your high beams. Marker light flash, windshield wiper controls, all right here on the steering wheel. Over here, we've got the controls for our overhead fan. So we've got a high and a low setting. Those are gonna be back behind those cabinets. They act as additional defrosters. In the middle, we've got the dual screen setup. So this screen on our right side is gonna be dedicated just to cameras. This screen here is gonna have Rand McNally navigation, AM, FM, Bluetooth, and Sirius XM on the left screen. Camera selection switch. So that's just gonna cycle through the cameras that we have available. So that's just a rear view camera. And then right side or left side, right side. Now obviously I have doors and slides open, so you're gonna see doors and slides. Generator start and stop, so we don't have to get up to do that. Step cover for our passenger. So push of a button. Step comes up flush with the floor so that your passenger's feet don't have to sit in a hole. And then another visor or more visor and shade controls for the cab area. Now the visors can come down based on, uh, or from the driver's seat because they are see-through, but the privacy shade will not be able to come down, especially if the key is on. Let's go ahead and put all these back up real quick. 
So, and then just a little storage drawer down below. You know, I hate sitting on my wallet while I'm driving, so I always like to just throw it in this little drawer while I'm driving down the road. It makes my life a lot easier. But, you know, your extra set of keys, your wallet, your phone, things that you want to know where they're at while you're driving down the road, great place to keep them. So, and I think that is going to wrap up my walkthrough of this 2012 Newmar SX 4544. Um, like I said in the beginning, very, very clean coach. Nothing that I would say is alarming at all. Um, if you have any questions about this coach, feel free to give me a call at 303-482-6375. Again, my name is Brian Moritz with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week.